Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss with, we will continue with the immune idiopathic, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura with the laboratory findings and the summary. So, laboratory findings in peripheral blood, platelet count is markedly reduced and is below 80,000 per cubic mm. Hemoglobin, the the level vary, uh, varies depending on the duration and the amount of bleeding and ranges from 7 to 12 gram per TL. Remember, it depends upon the duration of duration and amount of bleeding. Now coming to the peripheral smear, platelets, there is marked reduction in their number, that is thrombocytopenia, and accelerated compensatory thrombopoiesis that often leads to the formation of abnormally uh, large sized platelets or we call it as mica thrombocytes or giant platelets that is that, that easily in a blood smear the RBCs coming to the RBCs anemia develops in patients who have access uh, who have appreciate appreciable blood loss over a period of months to years and chronic loss of blood may result in microcytic hypochromic anemia, especially in females with menorrhagia. And WBCs, they are usually within normal range. Now coming to bone marrow, the cellularity, the uh, bone marrow examination uh, is uh, important to rule out thrombocytopenia resulting from bone marrow failure. A decrease in the number of metacaricides argues against the diagnosis of ITV usually. The cellularity bone marrow is uh, in bone mar marrow is hypercellular. Now coming to mechacaropoiesis that is uh, in the bone marrow, you will find that bone marrow shows mo moderate increase in number or both uh, in increase in number of both immature as well as major forms of mechacaricides. Immature mechacaricides are pre uh, are predominate and they have large non lipidated single nuclei and basophilic cytoplasm. Coming to erythropoiesis, bleeding from thrombocytopenia, as I've discussed, may result in anemia, accompanied by normoplastic normal erythroid hyperplasia. Without constant ble bleeding, iron, defici uh, iron deficiency anemia may result in micro normoplastic erythroid hyperplasia. Myelopoiesis is usually normal, and iron storage. In patients with uh, severe and chronic bleeding, iron deficiency develops, resulting in depletion of iron stores. Now, coming with the bleeding dying, with the other tests, they are bleeding time prolonged, but uh, protrombin time and activated partial thromboplastin time are normal tonicate test positive floating time normal and test for platelet autoantibodies may be positive usually positive and spleen may be normal size so spleen the the size of the spleen is normal on histological examination and spleen shows non-specific changes like congestion of the sinusoids and prominent germinal centers. In many scattered megakaryocytes are found within the sinuses and sinusoidal wall, which may represent a mild form of extramedullary hematopoiesis due to elevated levels of thrombopoietin. So it is all about lab diagnosis. So now coming to the summary that summary of ITP. So we've discussed that ITP is the most common form of thrombocytopenia as well as common form of immune thrombocytopenia and there is increased destruction of platelets by immune mechanisms and mainly by autoimmune mechanism hence it is also referred to as autoimmune thrombocytopenia now acute we have two acute and chronic so in acute ITP is mainly seen in children between two to four years and acute ITP is autoimmune disease sudden onset shorter duration and usually resolves within six months but in chronic, 
autoimmune disease and the antibodies are directed against glycoprotein 2p 3a of platelets and spleen is a major site of destruction of platelets an important site of auto antibody synthesis and IDP platelets are reduced from that is thrombocytopenia and reduced platelets reduced below 80,000 per cubic mm and the bone marrow in chronic IDP shows megakaryocytic hyperplasia with immature megakaryocytes and peripheral smears will show abnormally large size platelets called or called as the giant platelets or megathrombocytes and the next is the ITP that is bleeding time is prolonged but prothrombin time and acti activated partial thromboplastin time will be normal that's all about the lab diagnosis and all about ITP I hope you've understood thank you